says praise belongs to God, Lord of the worlds. The cameras come on now, Lord of the worlds. And that worlds apparently means vegetation, angels, all sorts of uh, different worlds that belongs to plants, angels, multiferous things, um, which is very interesting. Uh, I can find the reference for you. It does, like it does, and I was hoping for this, it does actually say, you know, this is what the Arabic does tend to mean. Um, worlds in the plural and to refer to all sorts of domains of spirits and plants and animals and um, all the rest of it. Now, also, it says um, sort of a little bit later on in the Quran about this thing that I was actually taught at primary school, which is not to harm a gnat or, you know, that like even a tiny little creature like that may have some spiritual significance and um, not only spiritual, but like maybe a soul in its own right and to to be aware of that but later on in the Quran um, I'm well I, I was I was aware of this because I, I was particularly aware because I was it's been my birthday today and I've got some chocolates and I was eating some chocolates while I was reading the Quran because I didn't want it to do my head in with being overly serious. I hope you can understand that and forgive me for it. Um, anyway, the thing is that um, it starts going on about the Israelites and um, how Moses rescued them from Egypt. And um, it goes on about Moses providing water um, for them when they were um, when they were thirsty, and uh, that food was provided. And later on, it says, if I can find it, which worries me. Like apparently, they complained they got sick of just eating one kind of food, and. Um, then, then um, they said, Moses, we cannot bear to eat only one kind of food. So pray to your Lord to bring to us some of the earth's produce, its herbs and cucumbers, its garlic, lentils and onions. He said, would you exchange better for worse? Go to Egypt and there you will find what you have asked for. They were struck with humiliation and wretchedness and they incurred the wrath of God because they persistently rejected his messages and killed prophets contrary to all that is right. All this was because they disobeyed and were lawbreakers. Well, you know, as a vegetarian, um, like I am quite grateful for the earth's produce um, and do prefer to eat vegetation from all over the earth um well you know i'm sorry about that but like i i i am sometimes content with onions and turnips like there is quite a lot we could do in this country but what has struck me in the light of that is the fact that most of our food is being grown in pakistan or according to a Pakistani woman I met, certainly a lot of our vegetation is being grown in Pakistan. Now, and, and I don't understand it as well because I thought it was the Hindis that were meant to believe in reincarnation, which would explain the gnat. Um, and then why, why do Hindis therefore eat meat or Muslims eat meat or you know I don't know what the situation is but 
Um, I hope we're not going to get told off for eating uh, vegetation from all over the world by anybody. Uh, you know, I certainly would prefer to uh, eat vegetation than, um, than eat meat myself. Um, so if the plan is to punish us from getting all our stuff from Pakistan after we've done it, well, I'm hoping that the Pakistanis wouldn't do that. And it's us that set it up, probably. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about, really. But I, I would say it's worth reading the Quran and seeing what you think for yourself. And, uh, you know, for these, there to be some discussions about all of this. I mean, it's really stupid that most people haven't been reading the Quran. Okay then, bye for now, bye.